Hi guys, hope you're doing fine today. So in today's vlog we decided to show you what we take on a camping weekend because we decided that this weekend we will go out with the Defender, go remote and go and have a bivouac. Please do tell me how I say this word in English. Uh, so free camping. It's half past one already, so we are only eating our meal now because this morning we had a lot of cleaning going on. This is why I am a bit of a mess today, but never mind. My husband is still working on the defender. He's finishing all those uh, tie all the tidying up of the cables. Uh, so you will see a bit later on how he did go on because uh, I think it's almost finished now. Um, there, so we are going to eat. We have more of a veggies, raw veggies, in fact, a raw, raw veggie salad. I'm eating some fish with it, and we also have some uh, red peppers here with a yogurt sauce with some herbs. Okay, so that's what's going on for today's. There, so I talk to you later. We hope they, before finishing, we hope that there's no lockdown because apparently they're talking about a lockdown for Switzerland. So I hope it won't be uh, announced this afternoon because otherwise we would have to change our plans. But I'll keep you updated. I'm gonna eat now, so <laughs> talk to you after. So we're back in front of the Defender. I wanted to show you where we are with the work, the tidying up on the cables. So it's almost done, not quite finished. So you can see that it's a lot much better than before. So all the accessories cables go over there. And now we only have uh, this to put put on the battery to have all the electricity needed uh, so it as you see it's not quite quite finished we don't only have electric cables uh, behind those seats we also have some antennas uh, cables and these ones are circled around because we can't uh, put them together like electric electric cables so there that's where we are for the moment so here's how it is from this side of the car and we haven't put back yet the air tank that was here because we have to do some electric tests electric measurements we're not too sure of how we say that uh, before putting everything back in place Here's the compartment of our main battery. So we had this kind of thing on the second battery at the back. Uh, but as we have many accessories, we decided to clean it up, clean it up and tidy it up uh, at the back because it was, it's okay if you have a few, a few accessories, but not if you have many of them. Uh, so that's for that and uh, here we also have the relay for the winch and our IBS dual battery system so that's why also there's many cables um, going there so maybe we will take time um, later on to try and make it uh, a bit better but for the moment it's not a priority and now we're gonna test out the voltage of this main battery. And now we're testing out the voltage of our second battery. Then so we tested out the voltage of the both batteries. So you saw that both of them at, are at 12.5. So they should be a bit higher. But the thing is that we didn't start the engine for a few days now. And we did use a bit of electricity from both batteries when doing all this tidying up. So now we will have to <coughs> sorry, start the engine 
uh, and retest uh, the second battery to know if the BCDC does properly its work by recharging the second battery. So here we're putting back in place uh, all the electric connections on the second battery and please do be careful if you manipulate uh, this because when you are screwing back uh, all the electric connection on the positive side it's dangerous if you touch anything that is me metallic that goes to the chassis so now we're gonna check the level of the batteries okay and here at the back we're gonna check the BCDC There, you can see that it's working, so everything is fine. Now we're gonna start the engine. So we just turned on the engine and now you can see that the two lights have came on on the BCDC. So it's the vehicle lights and the stage light. So this means that the vehicle, the BCDC takes the electricity from the alternator via the main battery and that it's working fine to recharge the second battery. So now we will test out uh, the, the voltage of each battery to know if this BCDC does his work properly. So this is the main battery with the engine on and we can see that it's at 14.3 and now we can see that the status of the BCDC stage status has changed and now we're going to test out the second battery voltage so we can see that it's also at 14.3 so that's good and here's what we can see on our IBS dual battery system so we can see that as the altern alternator is running uh, the batteries are obviously uh, on more than 12.8 so we have to look here and we can see that the IBS dual battery system says that they are at about four, at more than 14 so as you saw we did measure 14.3 and we can also see that the batteries are linked so we can say that the system does work properly also so now my husband is gonna finish tidying up all these cables and after he's gonna have a drive with the car and we will have a second second testing of the voltage of the batteries uh, what we do know is that uh, because of this BCDC charger, um, the second battery at the back is always has always better charging than the main one because this BCDC is a real charger, and it will also allow us to move on uh, to a better technology, for example, lithium batteries. And what is also great with this BCDC charger is that we will be able, in the near future, uh, install uh, some solar panels or solar blankets. I think we will go for solar blankets, but we have to decide for the moment. But we do already have the connection, which is the yellow, yellow cable that is here. So everything is ready for our solar blankets that we don't have for the moment. There, so we're done with today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. In fact, we didn't have time to prepare our stuff for the weekend, so this will be the subject of our next vlog. So you will see what we do take on a free camping weekend uh, for everybody, for the children, for me, for my husband. Uh, normally we do take uh, each of us one bag and uh, you did have some information on our batteries the main battery the second battery the bcdc charger and also our our ibs dual battery system so it was a quick short information but i think uh, it well i hope it would be it will be useful for you 
Uh, if you need more info on our batteries and uh, DC-DC charger and IBS dual battery system, we talk about all this on our videos about batteries, so I will put a link uh, somewhere in the video. So do go and have a look if you need more information on batteries. Um, it's more on our setup, so if you have also other ideas, don't hesitate to comment on the other video about batteries. So there we are for today. It was a nice day with a lot of work, so we did a lot of cleaning this morning with the children. I haven't finished yet. My husband had a lot of work to do for work and on the car, so he's almost done, so <laughs> we will keep you updated with with our tidying up of the electric cables behind those back seats but you saw before it's almost done and i worked on the computer the children did come uh, did begin the homework for school school homework so i'm happy with that we will plan everything next week because uh, now it's gonna be the weekend so we do want to go out with the defender so i hope there's not more restrictions we didn't look at the info we will look tonight what's going on with this coronavirus i know that um, the people contaminated on the do we say contaminated I'm not sure, <laughs> sorry for that word, I don't know how we say it. So the people who have the coronavirus in Switzerland did go up, the numbers did go up, so I hope it will be okay. And yeah, so be safe and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hi, this is Patty from the Off Truck family. Alors aujourd'hui, je vais manger du poisson et voilà, au revoir